Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 it's me, your boy, Mo again, playing me some more out world, out of worlds. What did your mother do? I'm trying to fast travel back to town, you know, but I don't know if I can do it like that. Hey, let's see what you must know. My late mother was a laborer, Dr. Fenhill. And your father? The same. And you ended up a preacher how? The universe works in mysterious ways. Where there is a deficit. I'm waiting for this conversation to be abundance. done. Then we're gonna fast travel. Uh -oh. Say a church is attacked by marauders mm -hmm. and sustains casualties. The replacement clergy must arise from somewhere. Terra on Mana, Cliff Roof Bailey as House Leon Helen, Spice Awards as Chief of the Savages, featuring real monsters from the doomed world. Pow, pow, pow. <laughs> oh, this game has so many goddamn screens. Mm. How does fast travel really work? Clunk. Hit you over the head, drag it in. Three days later, you wake up. Alright, I'm supposed to be telling this lady her son's dead, even though he's not. Oh, you're back. Please tell me you found my baby boy. Where is he? Where's my little Tucker? What are you saying? That, that doesn't make any sense. Why would my little boy say that? Because he's 42 years old. Easier? Thinking my little boy was dead would be easier? On who? This doesn't sound like my Tucker at all. How do I know you're not lying? I've been worrying myself sick, and he's lounging in a bar? He wants me to think he's dead while he's partying with them iconoclasts? I need to think about this. I don't understand how it's all gone so wrong. Here's the reward I promised. Please, just leave me in peace. I mean, you ain't promising a reward, but I. Right. Who wants to play an impromptu tossball match? No one? Really? Yeah, I'm gonna go pay for that printer in a second, but let me uh, handle these pills. Now, two options. I go to cash in medicine, or I can go to get the pills. I'm gonna go to the dispensary first before trying to rob them. Now, see Abigail. Hello again, dearie. What can I get you? About Dr. One. Such a pity, isn't it? But I suppose it's an important reminder that one can have too much of a good thing. Even cost dollarine.
Come to share a secret with Auntie Abigail? Um, no, I just robbed you because um, I tried to tell you the truth about this guy and... Like, you're in charge now, lady, but, uh, you don't want to hear it, so I guess I'm out. I wonder sometimes what they're doing on other colonies. Ah, the charmer! Welcome back! Am I a charmer? Let's chat of business. Business, you All alcohol. The above? Says someone who's never had any fun. Exactly. See? I'm glad someone on your crew's got some sense of, sensible. Got her head on straight. How about you stop drinking? You lush. Ooh, that hits the spot. Right in the uh oh no, there it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. That was fast. I gotta see about stalking some on the ship. You be careful. The first one's free. After that, they'll offer you gainful employment. I'm not looking for company at all. Glad to have you. Great. Where to? Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. If you're more of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. Long as you've got my back, I'll have yours. Welcome to the unreliable crew. That's a pretty big gun for a hunter. I don't know what the game's like on Terra 2, but out here, the daintier weapons ain't gonna cut it. Manosaurs require stopping power. Yeah, but what's left after you're done with them? Well, well. Isn't often we see new folk in Stellar Bay. First drink's on me, stranger. Enjoy. If you're keeping Nioka company, you'll need a few to keep up with her. Ain't a person on this planet who can keep up with me. Wait, we are talking about a drinking contest, right? Now what can I do for you? Thought it had a fancy ring to it. Uh, Name's the first advertising anyone sees, after all. True. Nope. But a man can dream. Not since Amber Heights. These days we have more leaving than coming. Off to join the Iconoclasts or some such. Yeah. Anyone who spends any amount of time in this bar is bound to get to know Nioka. On account of her being here so often herself. That makes sense. She's hey, a lush. You ought to be paying me. Without me livening up the place, y'all would be wallowing in the misery that is your sad corporate lives. I don't mean that unkindly, Nioka. Anyone who's rid us of as many beasts as you have is entitled to a few drinks. Something else I can do for you? Jesus Christ, what is that? Guess a good thing I didn't sell everything.
I guess we need bigger guns. Do I even have an option on a bigger gun? Got a flank, got two flamethrower options. What's the next? Let's uh, hit this. Uh, let's hit this rat problem. It smells like rat in here. Oh, it does work. I bought some muskets. Talk to me. Ooh, you're the new face. Wow, you must be up on all the latest toss ball games. No, I'm not, not at all. So who do you follow? Wait, don't tell me. You look like a Hammersmith Thunder fan. No, Glacial H. Mannix. Lie. I'd heard they'd gotten a new hacker. Is that why everyone's making such a fuss about you? But what are you doing on Monarch? Part of Goodwood to our house now. <laughs> Maybe we're not so isolated as I thought. Nope. So, what can I do for you? Poor Isaac. I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow. Even if he did have terrible teeth. Wilson. Right. So the thing with Isaac is he didn't know where to stop. He'd get stuck on something and uh -huh. he just couldn't let it go. Okay. Sometimes he'd drink Purpleberry Punch by the leader. Other times he'd keep betting on a losing team. Started owing the wrong people money. So who do you owe? I don't know for sure. But I saw Elijah and his buddies pushing Isaac around. Elijah and his buddies? They're hooligans from Fallbrook. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over toss ball games. Okay. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. Thanks for the tip. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. So now I gotta go back to the Yacht Club. Elijah fam, when I see you, I'm just gonna put a bullet in your brain. You better hope you ain't killed my man. I shipped with a Merc who had a gun like yours, Nyoka. He polished it, sang to it, slept with it. Not like that, as far as I know. Sounds like he had himself a discerning palate. Where are you going with this? He couldn't hit the broadside of an assault cruiser, hence the tin shredder. Who the fuck Wouldn't be you? the first man I met bearing compensation for his lack of skill. Hey, what are you doing here? This is our secret alley. Mm. Berta already pissed by those crates to market. Listen, that purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. And not that it's any of your business. Okay. <clears throat> All right. 
<laughs> Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Well, new business turns up. Nope, at last. not new business. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? I don't know what you're talking about. That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not poison the loins? They're saying those words. Very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. No, you have me with me. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self-review? Very generous. Noted. But not so generous I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? What a charming notion. One doesn't meet many free spirits in Alcyon. Not outside Tartarus prison, anyway. Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for Saltuna. Now, now, there's no need to humor me. I'm used to this particular letdown. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. It's fine. <laughs> Surviving alone isn't as easy as it looks. Okay. Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for 10 years now. So-called is right. We've got our hazards, but we're still here, damn it. The board took off without so much as a thought for the folks left behind. And now you don't have to play by their rules. Sounds like a deal to me. Well, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Yes, freedom is a tempting ideal, but a rather costly paramour. Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. Okay. On our terms, mind you. A lot of good that'll do. I'll just find another reason to turn tail and abandon you. Not if we secure the proper safeguards first. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit? And perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. It's true, our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. In the old arms building southwest of oh my God. which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in, these days it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Of course it is. So taciturn, so dour. I'll be waiting with bated breath. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. What can I do for you? But that's terrible. What happened? But that means we won't be able to log their testimonies. If there's one thing I've been hoping to re-establish in Stellar Bay, it's proper documentation for legal matters. Oh, 
always a shame when tempers get the better of good sense. Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. Hiram? Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. <laughs> You'd head south along the road and All right, so... Northwest. Not that I'd advise it. It's a terribly dangerous trek. But I see you've met Nioka. Anyone can get you there safely. It's her. He just wants me out of his bar. If I never smell another raft, it'll be too soon. Weren't you a sawbones? Figured you ought to have smelled worse. Sure, but those things reek like bad cologne. It's different. Um. Okay, so... If we look at the map... Okay, so if I fast travel there... If I fast travel there, that's fine. Right. Once you there, at least humans have the courtesy to wait a while before their bodies start to stink. Most of them. I'm in a position of opposition for all to see. I got myself a flame. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. If you're watching this video, text me and tell me to practice the guitar. Hey, Cap. Got a minute? Yeah, what's up? Hey, got a favor to ask you. Okay. Figure while we're out here in the wilderness anyhow, we might stop in on an old friend of mine. Okay. Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way. Don't worry. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed. And I could use the help. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But this, what I'm thinking, is dangerous. dangerous. Oh, I'm thinking you need better clothes. Really? Here I was stealing myself for inevitable rejection. I used to run with a band of hunters. Friends. Six, Six of, of us. We were on Monarch when the corporation pulled out. And we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I actually need to buy years, armor. And the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places. Like the family we once were. First, we go to Hayes. I'd buried him a ways from our encampment. I need to pay my respects. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to bury. Then we find my two lost trackers and bring them home. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, the Mana Queen showed up and kicked us all out. Yeah, well, they do that. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. Sounds fun. <laughs> Thanks, Cap. I hate to say it, but we need to go back inside. And <laughs> we need to, I hate to say it, we need to go back inside and buy you some body armor um, if we're gonna be going out there getting acid all over us, lady. Like you like machine guns, great and all, but uh, we need not to die. And you want to fight a man to queen, and I just don't know. Got that desecration of the steel. I got a bullet with a name on it. Bullet with a name. Oh. Yeah, so this map just ain't going okay.
Yeah, I almost say 10. Oh my god. Eighteen and twenty-nine. Can I be eighteen or twenty-nine? Not there. I could be, I could be 29 with a 36, so I'll buy that. I'll say it's not that I think you know we're Is anybody wearing elite troop armor? Like, okay, I'm wearing that. All right. All right, boy. come back everything is all forgiven space your shores so this is a whole game we could go hours of doing nothing I see
Good old Stellar Bay. The only place on the planet that don't stink of sulfur. On account of it stinking like fish instead. Am I the only one getting hungry? See, if we play it right, we can avoid all the enemies by working on the outsides. Clean this up, right? See, there's a reason why I gave Homegirl a flamethrower. And so far, that flamethrower decision is working great for me. So, homie, you know, he gave me the key to the arms building. Hmm. And I wonder. Careful. Only things you'll find in the ruins are liable to shoot you or eat you. Or both. <laughs> no, raps can't wear boots. Oh, thank the eternal. Uh, Huxley. Uh, Huxley. Oh, this Huxley. My friends and I were scavenging here, and a Mad Queen showed up. Then rapid on was a void blast mask. <laughs> we ran in here, and um, now the door's locked. Little help? Know the rationality of your decisions. 
too. Thanks, mister. My buddy had a key, but I ain't heard him in a while. He locked me in here and took off. Probably got munched. They'll look for a dead guy, I guess. Or a rat. Maybe it's in a rat belly. Gross. What do you mean? It's locked. Oh my god. Thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Still landing yourself in trouble, eh, Hux? Oh, hi, Mioka. Um, you mind giving me an escort back home? I'm... Oh, you're traveling with someone. Never mind. Oh, sure, I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and... <laughs> hey, who's your identical, slightly blurry friend? Thanks a lot, mister. Ah, fresh sulfur. Good to be outside. I'm still gonna look for the dead guy because uh, that optional quest requires me to get into the bottom of that building. Like. I definitely saw something over here.
Alright, I guess we'll never find it. I really don't feel like we should have sent her on her way home by herself, but... I was like, how was I supposed to know we were gonna end up finding this Hux character? That the Arcana class was looking for? Like, there was no way to know that, you know? Oh, I just sent Vic or Mac home. Like, if they would have given me an option, I would have sent uh, Ellie home and then I would have fast rolled back to the shift, picked it back up. Called that a day, you know, squad. But they didn't give me that option. So now Yoka, Ellie, a squad now. And I know that Yoka's like, oh man, can you help me with that quest? And I'm just like, yeah, we're gonna get to it. Duh. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, we're gonna turn in that quest. For home slice, and then we're gonna call it an end for this one. I know not a lot of action, not a lot of stuff happening. I mean, there were people trying, there were people trying to kill us. There are still people trying to kill us. Why is this resident hostile? you've had a sobering effect on our friend Nyoka. Yes. Sir, please stop. Oh, it's all. Forgive me, Celia. I couldn't help myself. Anyway, what can I do for you? Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. How exactly is the day of home? But that's exactly what this is. The world isn't changed with guns and speeches, much as Graham and his followers would like to think, but rather with meticulous documentation. And the bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 is one of the most formidable pieces of data entry in all of Halcyon. One false stroke can invalidate the entire document. It's true. One of the old execs gave herself a stroke trying to fill out the exemption section. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. Sort of. Really, we're just going to blackmail them into offering us a seat at the table. Wow! But really, whatever gets you excited about the idea, it's definitely a firm middle finger. <sighs> I can get behind that. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch. Illegally and in secret. Really? Most of the time they do illegal stuff out in the open. Cheaper that way. Follow if we with can Catherine. Find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. Sanjay, you sly dog. So? Don't encourage him. Don't encourage him. I admit I've been hatching this scheme for quite some time. I just <laughs> needed someone capable to help me carry it out. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. I die. Hell, you know well. That's part of the problem. She has certain ambitions for Stellar Bay, and I fear my asking her would give her the leverage she's been looking for. Don't get yourself worked up, sir. It's perfectly natural to have a healthy fear of her. We <laughs> really don't need to discuss this now, <laughs> Celia. 
Eh, so I got a far back location of the co then. Once you uh subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. Infiltrate secret corporate base to kidnap the staff. Sure, easy. A foolproof plan if I ever heard one. I'll leave the execution Thank you. to you. Okay. All right, and that is that for this episode. We got to now infiltrate a corporate base of sorts. I'm checking out this armor. It is trash. I'm buying all the illegals. And all the mods for my homies. But until next time, friends. It's been me, your friend, your pal, your boy, Mo. Uh, for you, for me, for all the good old people out there. Peace.